the usual deck of cards, we can shuffle them and cut them. You watch the spectators to cut again the packet and deal 5 cards on the table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and another packet of 5 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay? Now you ask the spectator to flip over one packet, it doesn't matter which one, this for example, and shuffle the cards together. He does this, okay? Now you turn away, you turn your face away, so you're not looking, and he deals five cards on the table, one, two, three, and four, and five, and drops the other cards on the side. Ask him to cover with his hand one packet, let's imagine this one, so he covers in, with his hand this packet, and cover with a handkerchief or a, or a napkin the other packet, so you have no clue, you have no idea. One packet is covered by his hand, and this packet is covered by the handkerchief or napkin. You turn facing the audience, you put your hand underneath, you do something like, eh, done. Now you spread your packet, there are only two cards face up, the square and the star, and ask the spectator to spread his cards in the square and the the star. Not over, not over, this is the first beautiful effect. With the remaining cards you can shuffle them, the spectator picks any card, it's not a force, it doesn't matter, and then it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven cards. Watch carefully. If I turn all the cards like this, no match, no match, or a match, there is a match, two stars, no match, no match, no match, and no match, and the selected card was the other star. It's not over, I have another effect for you. I am going to take one card and place a prediction, a prediction on this card, okay? I'm going to leave this card here. Now, maybe you, you'd never realize, but the, the symbols here have, have symbols with straight lines like star and um, crosses and symbols with wavy lines, round lines, like of course a circle and this, okay? So ask the spectator to shuffle the packet as many times as he wants, it doesn't really matter. And then you turn over two cards at the same time. If the, the two cards contain two straight symbols, two symbols with straight lines, they go to the spectator. If the two cards contain symbols with curvy line, let's say in this way, they are for me, okay? And I repeat, the spectator can cut again, it can shuffle, genuine shuffle and so on. Let's see. So this, no, these are um, one straight and one curvy line, so we eliminate the, this one. This, again, we eliminate this one. The, these are uh, straight lines, so that goes to the spectator. This one curvy and one straight, uh, we eliminate this. Straight line, so this goes to the spectator. There's one curvy and one straight, and, and, and there's two curvy, so this goes to me. You have one, two, three, four, the spectator has four cards, and I have one and two. And my prediction says you will have two more cards than I will. 